All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise and honor glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakak Wadash. The one the Apostles, the great Muslim, we're teaching us the one percent truth according to our inner well, <coughs> and peace and blessing self like the nation of Israel. Today, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai, I'm going to the Lord's willing the final lesson entitled, They Don't Care About Us. You know, we're just going to jump straight into it. This is Psalms 83 and 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. And this is what we're asking Yahweh by Shema Shai uh, to do, you know, to rise up, you know, because these heathens, you know, they have a great plan, you know, uh, to take us out of the earth, you know. To, to bring the population down to 500 uh, million, I believe. Well, you know, they they scratched those plans, right? <laughs> but this is Psalms 94 and 1. You know, that was a joke. You know, with the, with the Georgia guy, someone's being destroyed, right? But this is Psalms 94 and 1. It says, O Yah, by Shema, a shy power, to whom vengeance belongeth, O Yahweh, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud, Yah by Shema Shai. How long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall the other and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquities, uh, and all the workers of iniquities boast themselves? You see, in these elites, you know, of uh, these nations, you know, chiefly Esau, Edom. You see, they are boasting themselves by, uh, you know, against Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, by taking the, his people, you know, into hardcore bondage. It says, They break in pieces thy people, O Yahweh, and afflict thine heritage. You see, so this is, this is what the heathens are doing. You see, they have broken this down as a people. We are down, downtrodden. You know, and, and, and none, none say it for store. <laughs> you know, none, none is saying, oh, that's enough. You know, because when you look up, you know, the the brother from VA, uh, the, the head of the camp, he made a great point. You know, he, he went to all the history, the atrocities. You know, oh, that's just yes, victim blaming. You know, that just because you feel, just because you're expressing your emotions, you know, don't, doesn't mean... You know, that's what vocab says. Just because you're expressing your emotion doesn't mean you guys are the Israelites. Yet, everything that the brother mentioned to the spirit and power of, uh, power of Yahweh by Shema Shai was a direct line of the curses that will befall us. You see, and how you Edomites, you know, are not going to be, uh, you know, are not going to escape guiltless, you know. You have pursued your brother Jacob with the sword constantly. You know, and, and it's evidently clear. You see, it says they slay the widow and the stranger and mother and murder the father fatherless. You see, and we are those widows. You know, we're 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 strangers. You know, we're we're in this strange land, not knowing who we are, not knowing oh you know where we came from until what? Until the spirit of life uh, enter into us by the Most High. This is Revelation 11, 8, and their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which is America. Uh, our bodies being spiritually dead, you know, dead in the mind. It says, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. You see, the ways of Sodom in Egypt were pushed upon us. In the ways of Yahweh by Shema Hashem were crossed out of our minds. And they, the people and kindreds and tongues and nations, so these heathen nations shall see their dead bodies uh, three days and a half and shall not suffer their bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. You see, these heathens, they rejoice. You know, over us being in this dead state, they, they you know they didn't care, they and they don't care until this very day. It make merry, 
and send gifts one to another. And where were those gifts? The gifts are us. We were the gifts, the, the captives, the slaves. There's like man, there's like woman, there's like child. We were the gifts that they were sending one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. And after the, and after, you know, because ultimately what? They want to keep uh, Israel out of power because they know what that entails when uh, the unity of the northern and southern kingdom are together. You know, we have the throne of David for an example. It says, and after three days and a half, br brothers, remember this. You know, you're watching this video. You, we got to remember this right here. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High enter into us. The Most High is the one who cares about us. Yah by Shema Shai, that they care about us. They love us, and so much that the Heavenly Father uh, sent His only begotten Son to be a sacrifice for us all. And Yahweh Shai, you know, He He fulfilled those shoes, you know, uh, of suffering uh, great things. You know, all for the nation of Israel, that we may have this truth in these last days. But these heathens, they they didn't say anything. They they didn't speak up. You see, they rejoiced over us being in this state. It says, and and after the th and after three days and a half, three hundred and fifty years of us being in a dead of state, right? The spirit of life from the Most High enter into them. And they stood upon their feet. So now we are standing upon our feet. Yahweh Shai has quickened us. He's raised us from the dead. The Heavenly Father shows, you know, constantly shows that he loves his people. And these days, you know, the elect is being risen up. You see, <coughs> it says... And great fear fell upon them which saw it. Great fear. <laughs> because their whole MO is to keep us, you know, uh, keep us down. You know, uh, uh, with Psalms, uh, Psalm 62, I want to say. Psalm 62 and 4. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, but they curse inwardly Salah. So these devils, you know, they have an alternative agenda, you know. They, they, they put on this front that they're for us. You know, we'll give them Black Lives Matter. Or we'll give them a chance to vote. You know, or we'll give them this woke movement. You see? But ultimately, these things are all uh, devices used by the devil to keep us separated from our power. This is Psalms 8, 3, and 2. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have said, I'm sorry, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may no more be in remembrance. You see, this is what they always wanted to happen. You see, you, you think these heathens, you know, actually care about us? <laughs> you know, when, and when this was their plan all along, it says, for they are confederate. I'm sorry, for they have consulted together with one consent. With one consent. <laughs> you see, they are confederate against thee. You know, let's get a definition for confederate. Uh, joined by agreement or treaty. So they have a treaty one of another to come against the nation of Israel. You know, you can read about the nations, you know, the tabernacle, Edom being the chief of the nations, right? They are leading the charge against Israel. Jeremiah 15 and 5. For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Only Yahweh by Shemel Shai is going to have pity upon us, you know? Only the Lord actually cares about us. 
It says, For who shall pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? You know, did any, where, where were they? <laughs> You know they were rejoicing. They were making. They were. They were rejoicing. They were. They were celebrating that we were uh, without Yah by Shema Shah, That we were out this truth. You see, they they didn't care. <laughs> they, they they didn't care. You know, and, and they don't they don't care. Since where's the proof that these devils actually care? Let me see the scriptures real quick. Yep, <laughs> this is a uh, Lamentations. That's the spirit and power, power of Yahweh Shema Shai. See, Lamentations two and fifteen. Script, uh, Lamentations two and fifteen. Grab it, you know. Spirit, have me grab it. This is a uh, Lamentations two and fifteen. All that pass by, all that pass by, and see the the desolation of our people. You know, Jake bugged down the street. You know, Jake, a uh, homeless, having to beg for uh, a change. Jake all uh, locked up in, in these prison houses, all uh, destroyed for lack of knowledge, uh, terrible diets, you know, not being raised, being raised in, in, in broken families. You know, this this is all, this is all by design. You know, this is what uh, Esau, Elam, uh, devised in his heart. It says, "All that pass by, clap their hands at thee." <laughs> you know they're clapping their hands. <laughs> it says they're they're rejoicing. They're happy. You know, all that pass by, uh, all that pass by, clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. Psst. Like, look at these niggas, <laughs> you know. These these niggas, you know, they're they're you know, they're they're animals, but these these animals, you know, which are our people, you know, are in this state because of you heathens, you know. This is what happens when you have a, a people in hardcore bondage, you know, for for such as long as this, when you feed them a uh, uh, crap, you know, when you when you put the the heavy metals in the water. You know, when you uh, kill a, a, a nation's morale, when you destroy uh, their connection between them and their God, you see, and you feed them lies. This is your fault. And, and the Heavenly Father is going to recompense you for your, for your, for your, for your, for your, for your, for, your, for, your, for what you, for what you have done. You know, uh, uh, let me get that, uh, Habakkuk. Two, I believe it's fifteen as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep, Habakkuk two and fifteen. <laughs> you know the the Lord is bad right there. Habakkuk two and fifteen. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink. You know, Esau Edom. He's the one that fed us with these different philosophies. You know, after he beat uh, uh, Israel out of us, this is what he gave us. You know, uh, this uh, black culture, this culture of death. It says, woe unto them that giveth his neighbor drink. Woe means death and destruction. That puttest thy bottle to him and maketh him drink also. I'm sorry. And maketh him drunk, drunken also. That thou mayest look on their nakedness. You see? It says, uh, it says, Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy force can be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be upon thy glory. You know, so also Esau Edom is going to be found out to be the culprit behind all the world's problems. You see, and he's being uh, found out. The, the, uh, how are the things that Esau... Edom are being searched out, you know, are being exposed because we're in that time, you know. It is being made evidently clear that this devil does not care about us. Lamentations 2 and 15. Bring a couple more, then wrap it up. Lamentations 2 and 15. All that, all that pass by, all that pass by clapped their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head 
at the daughter of Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? <laughs> you know, is this it? Are these the Israelites? Are these the sons of God? To to the point now, we're, we're a byword and a proverb, you know, uh, one that never thought of is about the war of the crown. The last thing you heathens are thinking that the Israelites, this is he whom we have uh, sometimes in derision, a proverb and, and a reproach. How is he numbered among the saints of the Most High? You see, it says, all thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth, you know. They're 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 uh they're coming against the nation of Israel, uh they're they're using their power, you know, to 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 pull, uh, all to pull off the flesh off of us. It says they say we have swallowed her up. See, Israel has been a uh, devoured by you heathens. We've been swallowed up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. You know, this is the day that they look for. So how could they actually care about us? We have found, we have seen it. You see? Uh, you see? <laughs> That's the day. This is this is what they've been looking for. This is what they've been waiting for. No, and it was also me, y'all, about Shemel Shai, you know. But uh, you know, you heathens are not gonna uh, escape away guilt. Uh, guilt be uh, escape away. They ain't gonna be a ride ride out into the sunset. You know, uh, this is gonna be my last one. This is a uh, Lamentations uh one and twenty one. It says they have heard that I sigh. These heathens have heard that we sigh. You know, and um, that's something, you know, brothers would do. You know, I know I do it. Sigh. <sighs> you know, it's a sign, <laughs> a form of release. <laughs> but it's a, it's a form, you know, uh, you know, it, it's a state of showing that you're at, you're at disease. You know, you're at, you're at unease in the mind. You know, there's a discomfort there. You know, you're trying to find some type of comfort. But these, these heathens were never there to comfort us. It says, they have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. There, there, there was none to comfort us. You know, until Yahweh Shema Shai, he came. You know, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, you know sent, sent down the Holy Spirit onto us that we may have this knowledge. It says, all my enemies have heard of my trouble. They, they, they knew what was going on. And none, none, you know, you know, did they care? <laughs> no, they don't care until this very day. It says they are glad that thou has done. They're glad that the Heavenly Father brought this judgment upon us for our disobedience. Thou will bring the day that thou has called and they shall be like unto me. So the prophecies of you heathens, you know, being recompensed is about to come to pass. We're in those times. The heathens, you reigning, that's about to come to an abrupt end. You know, and you Israelites, we, we got to remember, it's, it's the Lord that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, uh, that's about to save us. You know, that sent down uh, the Holy Spirit that, that while we have this truth, while we know what we know. These heathens had ample time. You know, uh, uh, to to tell us who we were, you know, to to send some type of relief, some type of aid, but they didn't do anything. You see, it says, "Let all their wickedness come before thee, and do unto them as thou hast done unto me, for my transgression, for my sigh, for all my transgressions, for my sigh are many, and my heart is faint." You know, real quick, this is uh, Daniel's 9. We'll close out on this. Daniel's 9 and 11. Yea, all Israel have transgressed by thy law, even by departing. Yeah, so we, we take, you know, uh, uh, you know, acknowledgement, you know, as Yahweh Shai, as Yahweh Shai requires us to do. 
you know, I will go to return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. You know, uh, uh, you know, Psalms 51 and 3, right? We, we, we have to acknowledge, you know, that we have to, uh, you know, ponder upon the words of the Lord and, 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 and take accountability to why we're in this predicament. You see, but it doesn't uh, excuse you Edomites. It says, yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing, that they might not that that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured out upon us in the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against the Lord. I'm sorry, before we have sinned against him. It's like it's kind of late. It says, uh, and I'm bringing this out for a reason. It says, and he have command, he have confirmed his word, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven have not been done as been done upon Jerusalem. You see, so we suffered the most, and who did we suffer from? We suffer all this hell. From you heathen, starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man today, you know. I want to get uh two precepts. I remember one, but um, Deuteronomy thirty and seven, in the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. Did not the curse fall upon us? So just as we went through a great suffering that was never seen, that's never been the like, you heathens, you know, chiefly Esau, Edom, who's going to receive double. So you're going to get paid back. You see, it says, in the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, thy God, our power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies and upon them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So our uh, Esau, Edom, they don't care about us. They, they, they hate us. They persecute. You look at this word, persecute. It goes into oppress, harass. You see, it says to uh, to it says ill treatment because of their ethnicity, because of where the Israelites, we we suffered ill treatment from them. You see, we've been afflicted by them. You see? But, you know, that's pretty much the point. You know, uh, these heathens, you know, they don't care about us. But you, you know who cares about us? Uh, Yah by Shema Shai, who said it is a righteous thing to recompense uh, trouble, to, rep- to recompense tribulation to them uh, that trouble us. And that's what the Heavenly Father is going to do. And that's what we have to uh, patiently wait for. You know, the Lord's only edified. I'm going to say, Shalom.